Hey kids, Jacktastic 3D here with my first ever official commentary um, entering into this uh, this crazy commentary world, um, which should be interesting. Uh, bringing you a game of domination on Stadium, uh, a little different than the average bear. Um, the uh, I had to post this just because this was an amazingly fun game, um, and as you can tell, I'm running around with the Brolympia. Uh, this was a night of just uh, pure insanity. Uh, the group of us were just running around, having a having a good time, winning a bunch of games, and uh, we decide we kept calling out different uh, setups at the beginning of each round. And um, this one happened to be uh, Brolympia scramblers and decoys, uh, and it was effing hilarious at the beginning of this uh, to. Um, to just listen to everybody's decoys get launched and half the maps covered in scramblers um <laughs> it's fun though for me because i love shotguns man i have uh my last video i posted uh it was to music it was uh wasn't with this sexy voice but um it was uh with with the spaz which is my favorite shotgun matter of fact it's probably the majority of everybody's favorite shotgun um the thing is just a beast uh you have the suppressor and it's insane um, this I have, you know, the Brolympia I don't use very much for this reason here, uh, well not because of this, and, uh, here, wait a second, his buddy comes up to check his body out, uh, hey dude, no oh, thanks. Um, you know, because the, the Brolympia for some reason with me is such a hit or miss shotgun, I mean, I, I feel sometimes the thing's a beast, and in this, this game in particular, I, I, uh, I was close enough to everybody to where it hit, there's other times where I swear I fire two rounds into people, and, um, it it does absolutely nothing. I, I I I'm firing like just bird shot out of this thing. Um, like the angry farmer firing salt at the crazy kids in the field. Uh, I don't even know why I just did that. But uh, you know we got going with this, and I and I had no real kill streaks. I had like the highest thing I had was a sentry gun in this, and um, but I got playing. I'm like, my God, I'm not dying here. What's going on? But I did find I was having to run around to find kills, and uh, I'm not sure how you guys are with the rest of your friends, but I find with mine, uh, typically it's me running around like a jackass trying to find kills uh, to keep from some of my other friends, aka T-Mac and Sinister and the whatnot, Ace taking uh, the majority of the kills, uh, and I look like I've accomplished nothing. Um, <laughs> this is a good spot, by the way. If you want to sit and throw some stuff down because you have a good line of sight to your left. I come over and what's this guy doing? Is he, is he there? Is he waiting for my care package? Is he waiting for the buck shot to the face? Um, you know, something else to keep in mind you see right here I'm doing. Every time I reload this, I take cover. Because the thing with steady aim, I, literally, I, I feel like I'm like, I, I, I don't know, I'm driving this daisy around in a, in a slow ass coupe. It takes fucking forever. Um, you know, which brings up another point about the uh, something that uh, has been bothering me since uh, since the inception of this game. The, the whole difference between the um, steady aim and the sleight of hand. For you guys who use shotguns, I'm not sure how you feel about this. Uh, I have pretty strong feelings about this, but um, it's something I've come to notice. Um, you wouldn't guess in this game because most of the shots are hitting people, but. Uh, the majority of the time, I find I am just as accurate with my shotgun firing it off the hip with sleight of hand as I am with steady aim. Um, and by all means, I love to see some comments where some guys prove me completely different and say, no, you know, steady aim is the way to go. But uh, I, I find 80% of the times I die in this game with a shotgun, it's because I'm reloading. And that's why you see I'm like super anal about hiding behind things when I reload, especially with this gun, the two-shot wonder. But uh, I, with the spaz, I'm always using sleight of hand. Uh, now note, it will take me sometimes the entire, <laughs> the all the entireties of the rounds to get a kill with the spaz. But uh, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Uh, but it's much better than when I'm running around with steady aim and have to worry about reloading, especially when I'm putting myself in a position to get close enough to kill these guys. Um, I start to speed up through here because I get a little campy McCamster as these people run into me. Uh, and that's the other thing with this shotgun. You gotta get stab happy, because there's just no way you're gonna kill enough people trying to reload one at a time. 
Uh, there's a guy coming up here who uh, decides to take a, uh, a, a leap of faith off the top balcony that uh, I just get extremely lucky with. Um, but yeah, I, I want to try to post some more shotgun games. I'm not sure if you guys be interested in seeing them. Uh, there's some other guys out there who just have insane shotgun games. It, I'm curious how the hell they do and don't get shot in the back. But uh, yeah, Man in Black's one in particular. I think he's got an Olympia game where he goes 100. Um, which I realize the only way you're going to get those games, the majority of them are you're playing Ground War and you have a thousand people you can kill. But a game like this where you're running around with six guys or five other guys who are all beasts with Olympias against just six other guys and no kill streaks, guess what kids? Not gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna have the hundred point game. Um But yeah, you know, I just I think in general watching the shotgun shotgun games are amazing. Just you got to be so close, and really with this shotgun, you got to be close in particular because any kind of distance with this thing, you're gonna get shot. Where are you going? I tend to stay in this area because my t my team tends to triple cap quite a bit, and that lends to me not knowing where the hell anybody is and me getting shot in the back. And I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of getting shot in the back. Um, I'd rather see him coming like this. Now there in particular, I thought I would have got a double, but I guess the uh, the old the old rock salt couldn't take out both those guys. But I know he's over there. I know he probably. I see him up there. I'm like, well, let me come up and say hi. Now here, take your leap of faith, buddy. Oh. But take your shotgun with you. <laughs> Probably one of the better slow moments and uh, slow mo moments in this game. Uh, <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Sinister, T Mac, Eddie, a bunch of the guys I play with at night. Uh, they definitely made the game a little more interesting. And I want to give another shout out to uh, the Woody's Gamer Tag who. Um, uh, made me believe a little somebody a little bit older could do some commentary and uh, and bring something to the table. Uh, he's the unexceptional gamer. I am sincerely the average gamer. Uh, <laughs> so I appreciate those guys putting up videos. Uh, it's it's definitely inspired me to uh, to get into this. And uh, with that, I think I go 32 and four with this Pro Olympia. And uh, yeah, till next time, guys. Uh, later.